to have a small friend. If I say smiley, I'm talking about some one of Somalia, you see. And it's been almost about four years that I heard from this my friend. Then all of a sudden, uh, through Telegram, uh, she sent me a message and she asked me whether I'm still around in the state of Washington. Then I told her that yes, I'm still around in the state of Washington. Then she said, okay, fine. Is it possible? Is it okay for us to meet? I said, okay, why not? I mean, it's been a while that we met. So I'm going to apportion some time together so that we can meet and we can dialogue so that I can know whatever it is that you are going through. You know, to my surprise, uh, she gave me a venue, she gave me a place for us to meet. I went and the first thing that this my friend was I mean, demanding for me, the first thing that this my friend was requiring for me before she can even open up the top was for me to take her to, I mean, a cannabis shop to uh, buy her weed. And you see, this my friend that I'm talking about used to be very innocent. I used to live with her and their family in the same neighborhood. When she was like coming up, she was a very quiet person, very, I mean, smart and sharp in education. I mean, she seems to have a very bland future ahead of her. So all of a sudden, I was surprised, I was shocked that for some years that I never heard from this my friend. I fortunately had the chance and pleasure to meet her and this my friend has turned into a smoker. The rate at which this my friend was smoking at my face was appalling. It was out of the world. It was nothing that I've ever even seen it before. You see, when she said she would want me to take her to the shop to buy her the weed, I declined and I said no. There is no way I'm going to do that. But you know, because she also told me that if I also don't buy her the weed, there is no way she's going to go to that store. Okay, fine. Let me see whatever is going on with this person. Let me go and buy her the weed. Let me go and buy her the cannabis. After all, I mean, she's about the, I mean, the maturity. She's about the maturity age to uh, make her eligible to buy cannabis. So, I mean, she buying cannabis isn't unlawful in the state of Washington. Mind you, the state of Washington, amongst, among the states like Colorado, has also legalized the use or the smoke of marijuana, you see. So, I mean, smoking weed or smoking cannabis or smoking marijuana in the state of Washington is legal. It's legit. Uh, it's not, not unlawful. Once the person is above the age of 18. Yeah, so I mean, I went with her and I bought her this weed, I bought her the cannabis, you know. And when this my friend started speaking out, all the things that she was she was saying, I could detect that they are all happening to her because of the irresponsibility of her parents. You know what? When the parents used to live together, I'm talking about the mom and dad when they were like living together to raise up their children. I mean, the, the children were in a very safe hand. But when uh, the man and the woman decided to break up, they decided to be divorced, you know, they were five, three were staying with the mother and two were staying with the mom. And unfortunately, she was staying with the father. And because the father was always like busy with work, always like busy with up and down, the father never had time for her. So she started making friends online. I mean, she started making friends from the neighborhood. And this friend that she started making from the neighborhood started, ha started having a negative impact on her life. So before she could even realize, she has turned into a weed smoker. Before she could even realize, she has even turned into a commercial sex worker. So beside the weed that she's smoking, she's also a commercial sex worker. She's selling her body for money. And when I was like sitting with her, and when she was like telling me all this, the only thing that was ringing a bell in my mind, that was ringing a bell in my heart, was that I need to take very good care of my children. I need to have time for my children. I need to be responsible for my children. Under no circumstances must I allow my children to be in an unsafe hands because that has the tendency of destroying their future. This is what I'm begging you, African parents. Please, with the greatest of respect to all of you, please let us have time for our children, okay? With the greatest of respect to all of you, please let us have time for our children. Our children are so important, our children are so essential. Let us have time for our children. Our children need us in the stages of their development. There is no way our children can I mean, grow to become mature and responsible adults without the responsible roles that we are going to play in their life as parents. So please, with the greatest of respect to all of you as parents, let us have forces a greater part of our time, our daily routine, and to dedicate it for our children. To dedicate it to know whatever it is that our children are going through. We shouldn't be thinking and be, I mean, behaving like people that are blindfolded without knowing the exigencies in this country as related to the life of the youth. You see, 
the life of the youthful ones in this country, they are like, as I said, exposed to a lot of things. So if you don't have time, if you don't have time to be with these children, if you don't have time to listen to their concerns and needs of these children, I'm telling you, you are going to lose your personal children. So please, with the greatest of wisdom to all of you, my African brothers, my African sisters, my mothers, parents out there, the African hustlers, I know how it is that we are hustling, we are struggling hard to make money. Huh? I know how hard it is, I know. I don't need to be told because I'm also going through the same process. See, so sometimes you need misunderstanding between a mom and a dad i mean can lead to a divorce but the divorce or the breakup in the relationship doesn't mean that we should allow the children to be idle doesn't mean that we should allow the children to be, to be grown up irresponsibly just because the mom and dad decided to break up you see we should inculcate in our children good values we should inculcate in our children good morals they need that to go it is so so important it is so so essential our children cannot live without these things you see so in a day like this that uh, i decided to I mean, take some time out uh because today is my off video and i don't, I don't work and i was uh reminiscing, uh reminiscing my time with my friends you know my son is my wife and i was like my my ass and i was like reminiscing on all these things i mean the only thing that was like echoing in my mind is for me to i mean take some time out to share the experience that i had with my somali friend to all of you so that if you are up and coming parents you are going to take really good time with your children because without your children i mean you'll be wasting all the struggle you'll be wasting all the savings and all the investment that you're making there see so please african parents let's take note of this things so that we don't make mistakes like my smiley our friends parents have already done i mean that's destroying her life that's making her a junk I mean, she's like a junkie now i mean she's well open on the streets of seattle i mean she has nowhere to go she's like almost like homeless i mean she doesn't even know the life that she even wants for her own self so i mean this issue is so critical this issue is so so important so please my african parents let's all take time let's all take time to have a couple of kids okay thank you and may god bless you as i said if you happens to be your first time on this great platform, don't leave the channel without clicking on the subscription button. Don't leave the channel without not liking the video. And after clicking on the subscription button, please click on the notification bell icon also. And if you click on the notification bell icon, the menu is going to pop up. And when the menu pop up, pops up, please select the menu called notification. So we will enable you to receive all future videos that I am going to upload on this platform. Thank you. And May God bless you for uh, spending your quality time with me. It is always a pleasure to leverage on this video broadcasting to the television. Thank you. And may God bless you. I will see you again.